Hello everyone, uh, I am Vasily Kitsianika, and you can call me Vicky, and I'm the product manager for MSC Nastra. I would like to welcome you to our webinar. Uh, today we will take a closer look at the NVH analysis uh, using MSC Nastra, as the title suggests. Um, whether it's morning, afternoon or night, uh, wherever you are, thank you for taking the time to join me today from around the world. Uh, I'd like to also mention that I have with me uh, Heman Patel. Uh, he is the Head of Product Development for MSC um, uh, Nastran and he will be ready to answer all your questions, making sure that we uh, actually cover everything, even if the time gets tight. So today we will be exploring NBH analysis and showing off what MSC Nastran can do. So this webinar is all about giving you insights and demonstrating how MSC Nastran can make, in, can make your simulation and uh, your engineering simulations experience better for NVH. So with that being said, uh, let's jump straight into it. Uh, today's agenda, uh, we'll start by delving into the fundamental uh, dynamic simulation capabilities of MSC Nastra. And then we will uh, um, go into more advanced uh, features in order to equip you with uh, I would say the latest and greatest uh, tools uh, of NVH um, in MSC Nastran. Um, I want to emphasize that every capability uh, in MSC Nastran is powered by high performance computing. So we will devote actually some time in order to talk about those as well. Uh, towards the end, we will delve into an acoustic optimization case study, if time permits, and then um, 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 finish with some conclusions. So with that being said, let's get started. Uh, MSC Nastran um, saves with a complete set of documentation. Um, it actually uh, requires a separate install from uh, your IT department, or you can access it online to, on our SIM companion webpage. Um, and it's really, really a very valuable library of information. I'm mentioning that because MSC Nastran really has a very, very uh, extensive documentation. I would say the most extensive documentation in the market. And uh, it goes, for example, for NVH, it goes beyond practical details. We offer comprehensive theory um, in order to empower our users to be uh, well-rounded engineers. At the same time, we offer best practices. So you can see over here an example of like uh, how uh, uh, to utilize HPC at its best. And um, here's an example of how um, the dynamic analysis uh, user's guide looks like. Um, if you haven't uh, looked at it before, I highly encourage you to do so. Um, in a, on the other hand, in our latest events, versions, we have revamped our most frequently encountered errors in order to ensure that uh, you have a very, very uh, nice debugging experience. Uh, that being said, uh, in the latest versions of MSC Nastra, uh, we ensure that you experience clear diagnos diagnostics paired with suggested corrective actions, which actually makes the troubleshooting experience a very seamless and efficient process. And here you can actually see an example of a, ma a fatal message that would occur uh, when a user would use um, um, the ACMS Trust Again Value Solver with, the, with um, a suggestive action on how to actually, what was the problem and uh, what actually to do in order to fix this problem. At the same time, with every release, we're automating an increasing number of tasks in order to enhance productivity and streamline uh, every workflow. Uh, and here are some examples of that. Um, in the event of singularities causing MSC Nastran to fail, uh, we have an additional file named singularities.bdf, which actually enables you to visualize and rectify singularities conveniently in the preferred preprocessor, so in the preprocessor of your choice. So um, you can also submit files using solve equals auto, which basically um, intelligently determines the best settings for you and for your run or even get the best uh, settings without even running uh, um, uh, uh, your whole problem in case the, the problem is, is huge and you just want to figure out what the HPC settings are. Uh, at the same time, we can address stable dependencies using auto MSET and also very, very cool capability um, in MSC Nation is that we can perform multiple analysis in a single job. So, we can uh, combine the normal modes analysis and static um, analysis all within um, the same run so that you don't have to actually um, do two separate runs. Of course, expedite the, the time to market. 
Lastly, we have uh, um, actually two robust mechanisms for um, um, <clears throat> for, uh, for automatically fixing massless mechanisms in, in, in any model um, in order to run the analysis to completion. We, we will talk about this a little bit more um, in the slides to come, but of course, I always say as engineers, we have to use this uh, capability rather uh, uh, responsibly uh, in order to ensure that we don't um, ignore modeling errors um, in our uh, models. All right, so uh, moving beyond the realm of VH analysis, and before we actually go into the main content, I would like to remind you that MSC Nation actually opens up a vast array of solutions um, in order to cater different uh, engineering needs. So, uh, in addition to our proficiency in NVH, we excel in composite material modeling. Uh, we also have um, <coughs> capabilities in uh, design op optimization in order to ensure that uh, um, uh, the projects are stimulated uh, for efficiency. We also uh, offer a comprehensive toolkit uh, for examining components and assemblies. Uh, we conduct fatigue and damage uh, tolerance studies, and uh, they're actually embedded within MSC Nation, something unique. So you can go from beginning uh, to end and predict the lifespan of, uh, um, of your product uh, by staying within the MSC uh, Nastran world. Of course, our expertise extends to, uh, to acoustics, which we're going to talk about today. Um, <clears throat> and um, I would say that the MSC Nastran is your versatile uh, partner. It, it addresses uh, multifaceted uh, needs of uh, of the modern engineering uh, workflows. So um, we're going to talk about uh, those capabilities in subsequent uh, webinars in 2024. And with that being said, let's get into the main content of today. Uh, just as a quick uh, summary of what we're trying to do when, we, uh, when we're performing, um, I would say, NVH uh, simulations for those of you who might be actually um, uh, new uh, to this uh, world. Um, in NVH studies, we use different simulations in order to understand and tackle some important key factors. Uh, um, those include, I would say, um, to solve for trim body modes in order to find the fundamental mode shapes like global bending and, and, and torsion. And um, I would say, for example, we need to ensure that the, the body's dynamic torsion doesn't match the, um, the low uh, uh, frequencies. And furthermore, um, we can calculate the dynamic stiffness, uh, which actually calculates the stiffness at the attachment points, which is very crucial. Uh, for, for example, for uh, assembling the, the chassis and the power train. Um, what actually happens is that having a stiff car body um, ensures good isolation for, for bushings and isolators. At the same time, of course, we have to calculate vibration transfer functions and noise transfer functions, something fundamental in NVH analysis, uh, in order to show how the vibrations and noise actually travel from attachment points to the steering wheel seats and the drivers and passengers ears. Um, all of these methods I would say help measure road noise tracking its path from attachment points of the chassis for example to the driver's ear. And finally uh, we conduct uh, several we can conduct several uh, full vehicle analysis with varied load cases in order to assess the road noise and the different types of powertrain load cases. And this is what actually gives a complete view of the vehicles and VH characteristics. Now let's see what kind of tools uh, we can use within a machine astron in order to actually facilitate the, those typical simulations. Uh, MSC Nastran has an extensive history in dynamics and acoustics, uh, especially within the automotive and aerospace industry. And it has actually um, uh, solidified our position as the gold standard uh, and I would say the primary tool for NVH analysis. Uh, we have robust and efficient numerical methods for dynamics and acoustics, and we offer a suite of tools that are uh, really crucial in order to pinpoint and understand uh, what, for example, causes um, uh, um, issues um, in our uh, model. Uh, for instance, what you can see over here is that if we have uh, a high sound pressure level at uh, 120 hertz, uh, we can actually provide tools in order to break down the problem into manageable pieces. Uh, we want to know, for example, that uh, these are the modes that contribute the most and uh, these are the parts that uh, vibrate uh, the most uh, in our model and so on. 
So um, uh, we have tools where we can calculate participation factors, we can examine uh, the particle acceleration in the fluid, we can um, uh, calculate sensitivities on the interface between the car body and the air, and we can also look at the vibration in intensity and so on. So all those things actually um, are available within a machine Astra in order to help us understand what is going on um, in our vehicle models. And of course, as I mentioned before, uh, everything is boosted by very efficient high performance computing. So in MLC Nastran, uh, we have the capability to calculate and analyze uh, panel grid and model participation factors. For the panel participations, engineers want to understand the impact of various panels on the overall vibration or the um, SPL, the, the sound pressure uh, uh, level. Um, is, it, uh, uh, is the vibration coming from, from the roof important or the doors or the floors and, and so on? Um, similarly, for the grid participation, the, the software allows for a detailed study of how each grid on the wetted surface contributes to the sound pressure level in the interior fluid domain. And finally, for model participations uh, within MSC Nastran, uh, we offer an in-depth analysis of which modes actually contribute the most to the vibration and, and, or uh, the sound pressure level. Um, in conjunction with these participation factors, we have uh, a very handy command called Pickout, uh, which is really, really a valuable tool uh, and basically enables the extraction of results uh, at multiple detected uh, response peaks. And all this is done automatically uh, within a machine uh, 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 Nastra. Um, finally, and before I, I actually finish with the basic uh, dynamic simulation capabilities, um, I would like to uh, talk uh, about an uncertainty. So, um, we all as analysts actually find comfort in, in conducting uh, simply deterministic runs, and it's a common practice that we interpret the result as the definite outcome. Uh, however, we all know that the reality is different. Uh, we have uncertainties, and un uncertainties are everywhere, be it in the loading conditions or in the materials we use, um, or in any other, I would say, um, influencing factors. So assuming that one response fits all simulations can actually be limiting, um, and more importantly, can actually be misleading. And this is how we enter the realm of uncertainty, and we have a functionality in MSC Nastran called the non-parametric variability method. Um, with the non-parametric variability uh, method, we can incorporate uncertainty um, into our analysis. And what actually this allows to do is to look at the mean value of our response and how wide is the confidence interval, um, and actually we're led into, I would say, a reliability and robustness uh, study of our analysis in order to have a more comprehensive approach. Just to be specific, um, in the non-parametric -param variability method within uh, uh, the solution triple one, the model frequency response of MSC um, and Astran, uh, we opened the door to Monte Carlo simulation. So, um, I would say that what sets an NPVM apart is that uh, we have the ability to delve into model uncertainties through uh, random model matrices. Um, a notable advantage here is, is the streamlined process. We sidestep the need to recalculate eigenvalues for each run, which can be a very time consuming task, especially in the realm of large models that we're dealing with nowadays, day in and day out. And the results from our Monte Carlo simulations can actually be uh, efficiently post-processed, and they offer us valuable insights in, in the form of, as I said, mean values or uh, standard deviation and, and confidence um, uh, uh, confidence intervals. Uh, lastly, and most importantly, is that the NPVM, uh, NPVM method can be uh, scaled, so it exhibits high scalability um, uh, in order to embrace um, uh, parallel processing to uh, be uh, even more uh, efficient in our hands. Let's move on to talk about some advanced dynamic simulation capabilities of MSC in Astra. Let's start with frequency-dependent materials. Um, we all know that the material dumping plays a crucial role in determining the overall 
uh, system dumping um, in various applications such as spacecraft structures and uh, integrally bladed the disks in turbo machinery and so on. Um, we have this capability in MSC Nastran in order to specify material properties as a function of uh, frequency uh, through MAT1F, uh, MAT2F MAT and, and, and so on. These are uh, how the entries are uh, named. So um, we allow the users to actually define frequency dependent material uh, properties um, in applications involving laminated metals or labor, layered uh, fiber composites um, and, 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 and so on. Now, uh, the utilization of frequency dependent materials enables the modeling of this frequency dependent behavior and it actually uh, improves the accuracy of the structural response predictions. Uh, moreover, I would say the special distribution of uh, short fiber orientation that impacts substantially the numerical um, predictions can actually be integrated with this uh, feature in collaboration with uh, uh, Digimat, uh, another um, um, advanced uh, software in our um, uh, MSC portfolio, um, in, uh, which generates the frequency dependent uh, composite uh, materials uh, in uh, uh, parallel with Nastran to further enhance the modeling capabilities. Um, so more accurate and more reliable results in structural analysis, but this doesn't end here. Um, building on these improvements, uh, we took uh, things um, a step further and now engineers can actually define uh, materials based on both frequency and temperature. Um, what this means? This means that uh, the effects of temperature on material properties alongside the previously addressed uh, frequency considerations can actually be accounted for in our simulations. Um, this enhancement, I would say, is especially beneficial in situations where the mechanical properties of fiber and, uh, and uh, matrix materials so, so, so uh, sensitivity not just to the frequency but also to variations in, in temperatures. And you can actually um, look at this schematic over here uh, where uh, we can see that the material at 20 and minus 20 uh, Celsius can have a significant difference in, um, in the stiffness. So uh, this functionality is extremely important since it yields, of course, more accurate uh, um, results for our analysis. Um, dynamic stiffness, it's a bread and butter, I would say, calculation for any NVH analyst and it really plays an important role in the vibration uh, design of a structure. Mathematically, uh, it is the ratio of the load applied to the vibration response, the, the displacement. Generally, the greater the dynamic stiffness, the lower the vibration response. Um, now, in order to achieve uh, the desired vibration isolation, dynamic stiffness may be used in the selection of mounts or mounting locations for machinery components. Now, in the automotive engineering world, the, the mounting location's dynamic stiffness is set as a target to ensure better vibration performance. And then the calculation of the dynamic stiffness is done either by hand um, or by third, traditionally, either by hand or by third-party software. Now, um, MSC Nastran eliminates all these needs and can actually uh, directly compute the dynamic uh, stiffness, thereby eliminating our dependency or, uh, on any third party or post-processing uh, software. Um, as, a, as a note over here, generally unit force excitation is, is a standard practice for dynamic stiffness, uh, but uh, within MSC Nastran we have the option to consider the actual frequency dependent applied force, which may not be um, a unit load. The peak out case control, one of my favorite functionalities and something that we briefly talked about in the beginning. Uh, basically, uh, what this does is to find the peaks in the frequency response for grids and automatically compute participation factors at those peaks. Um, we also have the, the capability uh, where the analyst uh, can study the peak out result if the response of interest exceeds the desired threshold value as it's indicated over here. So the benefits are quite obvious. Selecting the peaks of the response exceeding a prescribed, I would say, threshold level of interest for participation factor, and the peak selection is frequency dependent, and all this is automated within the solver. Let's move on to a different topic, interior-exterior acoustics and a capability called EchoWeek within MSC uh, Nastron. 
And I'm going to start off with a bit of uh, a recap before we actually delve into the specifics of ECOWID. Uh, usually, when we talk about the interior uh, acoustics, uh, we focus on events occurring within the car cabin and, and its compartments. Um, this closed environment analysis is known as interior acoustics, and it's, uh, it has been a long-standing practice, uh, and it's really fairly well established in the industry. However, there are instances where the analyst needs to extend beyond uh, um, the, the analysis beyond the interior of the vehicle, and this is how we're led uh, to the realm of exterior acoustics. Um, in our case, interior acoustics are combined with something called echo week within a machine astra. So what we have is basically an interior acoustics problem with a structure and an interior cavity, and on top of that, um, we are studying what happens on the outside in a free field radiation environment. What we are doing is we're using this parameter called Echo Week um, uh, so that we can solve everything in a weekly coupled uh, ma manner uh, with it, within one step uh, process. Okay, so what happens with Echo Week is that we basically divide the fluid part in interior and exterior parts. The interior part with the structure is solved using model reduction. And then the results are mapped over to the exterior uh, fluid, which is solved uh, separately in a, in a very direct way. And this is what uh, makes EcoWeek so powerful. Um, so um, this is a case study from one of our customers, Volvo, Volvo Cars, uh, and this is a specific use case where they aimed to analyze the, the, the transmission of tailpipe sound uh, pressure. Um, the objective was to understand how the free field radiation impacts the structure's vibration and how this subsequently influences the sound pressure level inside the company. Uh, through the application of EcoWeek, the, the simulation process uh, was significantly accelerated, as you see over here in this uh, slide, achieving more than a, a fourfold increase in efficiency. Um, this unique capability of MSC Nastra allows, I would say, for the comprehensive resolution of exterior acoustics in a single run, making the entire procedure highly, highly, highly efficient. Vibroacoustics now with the pore elastic trim uh, uh, components, uh, I would say one of the um, very strengths of MSC Nastra when it comes to um, NVH analysis. Uh, Vibroacoustics with pore elastic trim components involves complex multiphysics in terms of the solid fluid interaction at the microscopic level, as well as unique applications in the finite uh, element-based analysis. Uh, porous materials, we all know, they're highly used in NVH applications for noise suppression. Uh, and um, uh, this process that you see over here on this slide is actually a co-simulation uh, between uh, MSC Nastra and another product in our uh, portfolio, which is called Actran. Um, Actran has broad experience on acoustics in general and, and pore elasto uh, uh, vibroacoustics in particular, I would say. Uh, the integration of Actran technology expands the capability of fluid structural interaction analysis within MSC Nastran and basically enables uh, MSC Nastran to perform the model frequency analysis of trim uh, structure for vibroacoustic simulation. So, excuse me for that. Um, in more detail, when we look um, inside the car, we know that it's not just metal. We have carpets, we have foams, we have plastic panels in between. And some of these materials are pore elastic, which means that they have both a fluid face and a structural face. Often there are several layers like foam, a heavy layer and a carpet. So in order to predict the noise in the vehicle cavity, the pore elastic materials are actually computed by Nastran, the, uh, by Actran. Actran gives the impedance matrices in MSC uh, Nastran. Uh, and now MSC Nastran takes over uh, and performs a model uh, extraction of the structure and the cavity and projects the trim results in the model space in order to compute the coupled solution. The best part uh, of this co-simulation approach is that all the setup is done within a machine action. So it makes it super, super easy uh, for our users uh, to actually um, in, uh, include pore elastic material analysis into our standard uh, uh, RAMs. Uh, moving on uh, to the optimization of trim components, and this is a published use, use case study. You can find the more information um, on this publication that you see down here on your screen. Uh, here is a case study with, uh, with one of our customers, Audi. 
And what they actually wanted to use is to uh, um, um, use the, the carpets of foam on the floor and see if it can be used to optimize and reduce the sound pressure um, le uh, the sound pressure level from road noise, uh, which is shown over here. So the entire model consisted um, of um, the car body, the acoustic cavity, and the carpet, and the results were computed all the way up to uh, 250 um, uh, hertz. Um, and showing here the results for the trim material optimization. Uh, um, just a quick recap: the, the 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 trim was separated into actual into different zones, and at each zone, the bio material properties for the pore elastic materials were actually optimized. Um, what I want to emphasize here is the potential of such optimization studies. The light blue curve that you see over here shows the initial results, and the dark blue curve. Uh, shows the very nice noise reduction while keeping almost the same overall mass. Um, to be more specific, by adding two kilograms, uh, we were able to reduce the sound pressure level significantly by almost two and a half uh, uh, decibels in some specific uh, frequencies, uh, which is really, really significant and noticeable by uh, the occupants. So um, it might look like a small number, but when it comes to actual use, this is really, really uh, Unnoticeable. So I would say that the, this functionality is both for accurate results and improved vehicle performance at the same time. And as I said, you can find more information on this publication, excuse me, uh, optimization for trim components and reduction of the road noise transmission based on finite element uh, methods, which was published uh, as an essay technical uh, paper back in 2018. Um, here we're looking at three different capabilities of MSC Nastra, and we're going to tackle all of them in three different slides. Uh, I'm going to start off with external super elements. Uh, external super elements um, uh, is a very elegant way of reducing parts of the model to a boundary representation um, using the, the, the CMS method. Now, in this uh, schematic over here, we see a complete uh, powertrain model. Um, usually, as engineers, we're not fully interested at all the details in the interior of the powertrain, but we also want to include all its characteristics in our complete vehicle model. Um, and this is a very characteristic uh, scenario where super elements truly shine because they're able to represent the complete behavior through a small set of nodes and elements. And the, the fun part is, is that if you have done this uh, once, it will be so much faster to use this reduced model instead of the full powertrain model in your subsequent uh, runs. Now, another noteworthy uh, feature of MSC Nastran is the FRF-based substructuring, which is, I would say, uh, an alternative to external super elements, but it does offer a distinct advantage. Um, this capability stands out due to its ability to integrate simulation data uh, with measured data, as you see over here. Uh, for instance, when dealing with uh, transfer functions obtained from measurements, we can seamlessly incorporate them into our uh, comprehensive full vehicle simulation model, all within MSC Nastran. And um, this, of course, allows us to combine simulation and measured data efficiently and effectively, effectively within MSC Nastran, which actually results in faster simulations as well. Um, one super nice capability in MSC Nastra, which is fairly recent um, and actually, um, I would say, facilitates a lot uh, NBH, NBH analysts, especially at the full vehicle level, is modules. Modules are standalone bulk data sections, typically uh, uh, representing a, a particular component in an overall assembly. What makes them so, so powerful is that they get a uh, read of this um, include uh, file method. What does that mean? Um, let's say me as Vicky, I'm working on a specific, I'm working on the chassis of a vehicle, and then I want to uh, uh, hand the model over to the full vehicle team for assembly. Now, usually what happens is that we as engineers, we, we have to stay within uh, assigned strict numbering uh, schemas. Um, so that we don't have any ID uh, conflicts, uh, be it on the nodes or on the elements or the materials or on the properties and, and, and so on. 
uh, modules can actually resolve, I would say, this problem very easily because um, they, they don't care about the ID uh, numbers. So basically, we can have two or three or four or ten uh, uh, components uh, within our full vehicle assembly, and they cannot have the same IDs. We can assemble them within a single run in MSC Nastra, actually do the run and uh, produce the results uh, for our uh, model without having to remember anything in our model. Um, one very cool capability is that modules can actually be instant. So we worked on one component. If we want to mirror that component, we can actually mirror it easily by mirroring uh, uh, modules in order to create and manage multiple design uh, uh, variants. And we can connect uh, the modules using our typical uh, um, connection elements that we have available within a machine astron. It can be a rigid element, it can be a flexible element, and, and, and so on. It can be a contact. And we can automatically also um, uh, generate those connection points within MSC Nastran as well, based on specific criteria. Finally, uh, for tire uh, modeling, we offer a very nice capability from uh, CD Tire. Uh, CD Tire from Fraunhofer is a popular 3D tire simulation model family, uh, which is used in the automotive industry. It includes modeling and parameterization of all functions of a modern tire and allows our users to accurately model the acoustic cavity with the gyroscopic effects of a rolling tire. Um, CD tire uh, and for NVH is the linearized tire capability and links to this, uh, 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 I would say, are available uh, from MSC National version 2021. Uh, the linearized tire matrices are created by uh, the CD tire and VH capability and are exported around the particular operated, uh, operating conditions uh, depending on the area of our interest. And it can be uh, rotation speed, inflation pressure, preloads, uh, contact pass, discretization, and, and so on. Now, these linearized matrices with their associated model information can subsequently be imported into Nastron for inclusion in the analysis. And I want to highlight that this feature is available in all dynamic solution sequences of MSC Nastron and actually offers tremendous, tremendous flexibility uh, to the analyst because we now don't treat the, the tire models as black boxes. We have the option to set our operating conditions and actually um, include those into our um, analysis for more accurate results. Uh, now that we talked about modules, uh, super elements, and CD tire, we're going to talk about uh, our interface to AVL Excite. Uh, we have established an interface with AVL Excite, which is a non-linear multi-body system uh, utilized in various powertrain models, including combustion engines and electric motors. Um, we seamlessly integrate uh, with, uh, um, with, uh, with them in a very collaborative workflow, as you see uh, over here. So much like creating a flexible body for atoms, we can also generate a similar flexible body for AVL Excite uh, within the MSC Nastran model. So after we conduct uh, the Excite analysis, um, uh, our users can actually retrieve the results and perform additional uh, um, analysis and, and actually produce results within uh, MSC Nastran, uh, streamlining uh, the, the workflow for enhanced um, efficiency. And this is, I would say, a very, very nice integrated approach, which is uh, uh, commonly employed by individuals working with both MSC Nastran and AVL Excite for different uh, transmissions, powertrains, and engine motor applications. Um, a very favorite topic, especially with uh, electrification, um, is the real coupled modes that is available uh, um, in MSC Nastran for heavy fluids. So um, let me give you a recap first. Uh, traditionally, uh, the aging modes for heavy fluids coupled to a structure have been solved as uh, complex modes. We all know that. Uh, what we did in MSC Nastran, uh, we introduced a method for real coupled modes for heavy uh, fluids. Uh, this, this development was motivated by several factors, including uh, improved performance and the ability to incorporate real coupled modes in response calculation. 
and we actually uh, find particular applications in the fluid dynamics of, of rockets as well, besides uh, an automotive engineering uh, example that we're going to talk about in the next uh, uh, slide. So, um, in the automotive context, uh, the new approach is valuable for scenarios uh, um, such as modeling fuel tanks, oil and plastic oil pans, and uh, water jackets in electric machines, which is the, the actual examples that we're going to look at. Um, it is important to mention that if we have a structure filled with a heavy fluid, we cannot assume really that the fluid does not affect the structure. It is okay to assume so when we're dealing with light fluids like air, but uh, when we're talking about uh, heavy fluids, we have a fully coupled system between the structure and the fluid, and we really need to solve for this uh, coupled system. And this is what the introduction of the real couple modes aims at doing in a very versatile and accurate way, while boosted by um, uh, HPC performance. So, a nice application of real coupled modes extends to solving modes and calculating frequency responses for e machines, which include a water cooling jacket, meaning that the motor has inside the coolant fluid, and this fluid will actually influence the vibrations on the surface of the motor. That is why it is important uh, to include them uh, in our MSC natural calculations. Now, the presence of uh, electromagnetic forces. Uh, necessitates addressing modes at uh, higher frequencies. This example showing over here at 11 kilohertz. And to further analyze, I would say, the acoustic uh, aspects, an acoustic analysis is conducted within Actran, utilizing vi vibrations obtained for, from MSC uh, Nastra. What this integrated approach allows us to do is to enhance the accuracy as well as comprehensiveness of the simulation, particularly in the context of uh, uh, machine dynamics and their associated cooling systems. And you can see how much faster the approach, this novel approach is. Um, um, something important to mention over here is that in the latest release of MSC Nastran for 2023.4, we have taken significant leaps into improving the um, um, HPC performance of the real couple modes functionality. So I highly encourage you to look at that uh, as well. Um, in addressing the limitations of a traditional NVH studies performed at lower frequencies, typically up to 500 or 1000 hertz, uh, again, a connection to Actran opens the door to a more uh, efficient approach, which is called Virtual Statistical Energy Analysis, or uh, for abbreviation Virtual SEA, for high frequency acoustics. Uh, as frequencies, I would say, um, uh, increase, Dealing with numerous eigenmodes becomes extremely, extremely demanding and a time-consuming uh, um, FEA task. In order to overcome this challenge, uh, we have made the shift to statistical energy analysis, a virtual statistical energy analysis approach at uh, mid uh, to high uh, frequencies. Um, it's, it's not worth it to mention over here that the virtual SCA in MSC Nastran, it closely resembles experimental SCA but it is implemented all virtually. So it involves a power injection method, which is performed virtually based on the existing FEA models that our, user, uh, our users have. And this, uh, this approach actually utilizes the MSC Nathra model extraction, circumverting analytical SEA limitations and providing a fresh perspective for um, numerical uh, uh, studies. Um, again, uh, it's important to mention that this is uh, it, it's a co-simulation approach which involves Actran, the acoustic solver in our portfolio, and MSC uh, Nastran. Um, finally, a notable benefit uh, for using MSC Nastran for a virtual SCA approach lies in the utilization of external super elements that uh, we talked about just before, because the, the effectively reduce the problem size and the enhanced computational efficiency within this collaborative uh, uh, workflow. Virtual SCA uh, analysis has been available in a machine Nastran since version 2022.4, um, and you can actually find examples within um, our documentation. So this is one example of a door subdivided into some different domains, and then uh, we can study how the kinetic energy is distributed over the different domains or subsystems. Um, this is post-processed in the Actron Spill TV viewer, by the way. 
And let's talk about high performance computing capabilities within MSC Nastran. Uh, traditionally, users of MSC Nastran rely on two approaches to find the eigenmodes. This is the Lanzos method and the automated component mode synthesis method. Um, ACMS is used, I would say, more or less in every dynamic lab nowadays due to the size of the models and uh, the requirements to go to uh, higher frequencies because it provides solution, uh, it solutions faster without compromising on accuracy. Uh, it is uh, an approximate technique, but we give the option to the user to actually decide on the accuracy of the results, and it can be orders and orders of magnitude faster than the traditional Lanzos method. Um, this means, and it translates to significantly, uh, I would say, uh, faster dynamic uh, simulations. It is compatible with, with every MSC Nastran version. You don't need an extra license or a separate installation, and it's domain, its user interface is really, really simple. You can just say domain solver ACMS. Um, here you can see a performance improvement for uh, the latest MSC Nastran release. And uh, I can assure you that uh, with every, every uh, MSC Nastran release, ACMS is performing uh, better. Uh, we have also worked extensively in order to reduce memory uh, uh, requirements and for even faster simulation uh, uh, times, we can combine ACMS with uh, uh, FastFR, which is also GPU enabled since 2018. Okay, now a very, very handy and unique feature of MSC Nastran uh, that we released la last year. Uh, we, we all know that in typical automotive NVH simulations, the output of, uh, uh, of the simulations is often confined to, to a small set of specific grid points. Uh, more often than not, um, there is a need, though, to obtain results for the entire model, or at least for a significant number of grids and elements at certain certain uh, frequencies. Um, this is what we know as operating deflection shapes, which essentially represents the full displacements of the model at a given frequency. Um, while ACMS can accomplish this, I would say that it, it, it entailed recovering the complete eigenvectors, a process that was quite demanding in terms of time and resources. Consequently, engineers often resorted to use solution uh, direct frequency response analysis in a separate one, uh, RAN, solution 108, uh, uh, which actually involved um, more computational time. Um, for a large automotive uh, bodies and vehicle models, this was extremely time uh, consuming. So, how we tackle this? In the latest versions, we introduce uh, a novel approach that uh, leverages ACMS to retrieve the full model, res model results without the necessity of obtaining the entire eigenvectors. Moreover, we have made uh, enhancements to the peak out uh, functionality. Uh, which basically enables the automatic uh, identification of frequencies at which the ODS results should be uh, recovered. Uh, it's a really, really powerful approach and unique in the market because it really streamlines the process um, and it can be combined. It's all invoked within one command line. It can be combined with uh, a pick out so the user does not have to set any dummy subcases or set the frequencies manually, even though we offer these options as well. So everything um, is uh, automated uh, from within a, a single case uh, control. Uh, so um, the frequencies, I would say, for full results generation, as I said, can be determined in two different ways. We can use a set with user-specified frequencies, or we can use the peak out command to automate the whole process and fi find uh, the frequencies at the response peaks. And of course, we can obtain a variety of results, including displacements, velocities, accelerations, stresses or strains, and, uh, and so on. And we can use structure-only models or fluid structure models uh, um, in order to generate our, our results. Last year, we have also uh, uh, um, developed and, and exposed the MAMS solver. MAMS stands for Multifrontal Massively Parallel Sparse Direct Solver and it's now integrated to our Lanzos Eigen Solver. Simply put, this means that uh, we have much, much faster dynamics uh, around. Uh, internally, uh, with this development, we have tested and we have demonstrated unparalleled speed improvements since, since MAPS is a state-of-the-art, highly scalable solution. 
Um, you can see over here that uh, if you're performing, for example, uh, a backlink analysis, a solution 105, you can have um, um, uh, simulations from two all the way to four uh, times faster. So um, MAMS is available, give it a try, uh, and um, you will see significant speed up in your dynamic runs. Now, um, activating MAMS is very user friendly and pretty straightforward. You can use this uh, sparse uh, solver keyword over here and you can actually um, activate um, uh, uh, the, uh, the MAMS solver. I spoke a little bit briefly about Solve Equal Auto in the beginning, and I'm going to um, uh, actually recap what uh, this functionality is. Solve Equal Auto, when you submit an MSC run, you can use Solve Equal Auto, and it basically automates everything for you. So you don't really have to be preoccupied about the, uh, uh, setting those uh, handles of MSC Nastra manually. What Solve Equal Auto is, is going to do is to actually, based on the model characteristics, it's going to uh, 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 determine the best solver for, uh, for, for the run, uh, the best memory uh, uh, options, uh, the um, uh, select the solver, select the memory, select the people, select how to scale, how many SMP DMP cores to be used. And all this, um, all these optimal settings are done automatically in the background, so you don't have to be uh, uh, preoccupied with uh, setting those manually. At the same time, uh, requested by our customers last year, we have the option to actually say uh, solve equals uh, auto, no run equals yes. This is very, very useful in cases where, for example, your IT set some very strict, uh, I would say, um, uh, options on how to submit your MSC Nastra runs and then um, something failed for whatever reason you want to see what would be the best settings in order for me to do my run. So, uh, in this case, we can resubmit your uh, solve, uh, run with solve equals auto, no run equals yes, which basically is going to give you the optimal settings based on your model characteristics without solving uh, for the whole uh, model. Um, before I finish with the HPC uh, section, I'd like to talk about another uh, very, very um, uh, fun capability uh, and unique capability within a machine uh, strand that uh, we introduced in our latest release and actually results in very, very um, significant speed ups um, in uh, your runs. And this, of course, doesn't have to be a dynamic run. It pertains to all uh, MSC Nathan solution sequences that support uh, RB3 elements. Now, what does that mean? Um, especially in industries like aerospace and automotive, uh, we extensively use RB3 uh, elements with numerous connected uh, grids. Now, easy modeling, but the numerical processing of these RBE elements, particularly during constraint eliminations, can be extremely time consuming without significantly enhancing the quality um, of the results, be it stresses or strains and so on. So, with this new capability, which we called automatic RBE leg trimming, um, uh, we actually streamline the simulation process by reducing the connected uh, grid uh, grids legs of the RBE3, uh, aiming to significantly expedite simulations across all Nastran solution sequences that support RBE3s without actually uh, compromising on accuracy. So the new capability can be activated via the FemCheck in MSC Nastran, and the user has the option. Uh, on the level of uh, trimming, whether we want the trimming to be light or we want the trimming to be more aggressive and, and, and so on. Um, and we have set some uh, recommendations um, uh, as the start value. It's not turned on by default, so you have to actually uh, uh, turn it on um, as a user and evaluate, um, I would say, the, uh, uh, the positive impact on your model. Of course, uh, more aggressive trimming could mean that you have a higher speed up. And you can see over here uh, a frame plot of uh, the results and um, and how and why we uh, we say uh, that it actually maintains uh, the, the the desired accuracy uh, uh, while speeding up um, our RAM. Again, it's available in all solution sequences, so it doesn't pertain uh, exclusively uh, to dynamic science. Finally, 
Uh, we have GPU support for very large models, and we can see over here an, an example. So if you have uh, access to uh, uh, GPUs, it can make a huge uh, improvement uh, uh, on your model for different numerical uh, op uh, operations. And you can see over here uh, an example uh, where uh, we could actually witness a really uh, large um, uh, time uh, savings. Um, and the final thing before I, I finish for today, because I'd like to get some time for um, uh, um, Q&A, uh, we can also run acoustic optimization in our solution sequence, so, uh, uh, solution 200 within MSC uh, Nastran, and we can deal with very large problems efficiently. Um, in this case, uh, by Volvo, the objective was to decrease the sound pressure level uh, experienced by the driver's ear due to road noise. Um, this involved analyzing the role of input at all chassis attach attachment points and the design space comprised almost of half a million elements, um, which actually represented the, uh, the number of uh, design uh, variables. Uh, the optimization method uh, uh, deployed uh, was topometry, which involves actually the, the continuous adjustment of each element's uh, thickness. Uh, the model frequency response, considering both the structure and interior fluid, was evaluated all the way up to 750 uh, Hz, leveraging the power of ACMS, uh, of course. And we had the constraint in place in order to maintain the mass unchanged during the optimization uh, process. And the primary objective was to minimize the, uh, uh, the RSS of the sound pressure level. Uh, in conclusion, the optimization uh, efforts resulted in a notable decrease in the sound pressure levels within the uh, 70 to 150 uh, Hz range. And additionally, uh, we uh, saw a substantial uh, reduction of the tire resonance frequency at 230 uh, Hz. Uh, the overall impact on the front seat noise levels um, indicated an approximate reduction of 2 decibels, which is really, really uh, significant because it enhances the driving experience uh, by minimizing noise in crucial frequency uh, bands and of course it serves as an indicator for uh, potential areas where structural uh, reinforcements uh, may be uh, required. So the optimization process effectively I would say uh, pinpoints specific regions for improvement uh, while contributing uh, to an overall uh, improved vehicle performance. For more support and resources, feel free to explore our SIM Companion website. Uh, it is really a comprehensive hub for all things pertaining to MSC Nation. It offers access to documentation, user forums, discussions, webinars to, to, to enhance your expertise. So um, if you really need to delve into uh, a specific topic of whatever we uh, discussed today, you can really go on our SIM Companion website and, for example, uh, watch a webinar where uh, we explain uh, the bits and pieces of uh, pore elastic uh, material analysis within MSC Nastra. Now, if you need any immediate assistance, our frontline support is just an email away, so you can see um, our frontline support uh, contact uh, over here. Uh, and for licensing inquiries, you can actually find the relevant contact information here as well. So with that, I'd like to thank you. Um, you can find my contact information over here. Feel free to always, always uh, email for any questions you might have. Um, I'm, I'm here to support you. Uh, and uh, here's the contact uh, email of Heman Patel. He's leading our product development team for MSC Nastran, and we would be very happy to answer any questions you might uh, have. So with that being said, thank you very much for your attention and looking forward to your questions.